Hello everybody and welcome to the Simple Aviation YouTube video. I'm joined today by Geography Genius 267. Hello Geography Genius 267. Hello everybody and yes today we're going to be talking about as you can see on the screen Dubai Airshow 2021 recap. So yeah should be a great video and um, thanks for having me here Aviation 228 and um, yeah quite excited to get cracking. So um, yeah I'm also joined by Santa 7x. Hello Santa 7x. Hello everyone, and I, just a disclaimer, you might be wondering what happens to Crick 2. Well, he's had some like issues, but I'm, we'll, I'm sure he'll be back on the show. Right, Aviation 18? That is right. Crick 2 hasn't been on any of our YouTube videos really, but uh, yeah. So, uh, we've got first of all, Air Senegal. Now, Air Senegal has ordered eight are uh, units of the Airbus A220. Now, Senegal is in Africa and Geography Dana 267. Do you want to just give a quick overview of Senegal? Yes, so um, as Aviation to John H just said, um, Senegal is a country in Africa. To be precise, it is in um, West Africa, just on the um, Atlantic coast. And so Senegal's capital city is Dakar, and is famous for the Gambia River, which goes right through its center. And it's also um, the country, which is called the Gambia, which follows the pattern of the Gambia River, um, is Senegal surrounds it. So yeah, that's quite interesting. And so Senegal um, have, I think, quite a good football team as well. And um, yeah, and they have ordered some AT20s as well. So yeah, that's Senegal in a nutshell for you. True. So. Moving on, we've now got Indigo Partners, who have ordered 256 units of the Airbus A321neo and the A321XLR in total um, from Airbus. Now, these will go to Volaris, which is a Mexican low-cost carrier, Wizz Air, which is a Hungarian low-cost carrier, Frontier, which is an American low-cost carrier, and JetSmart. Now, I haven't really heard of JetSmart that much, so I can't really tell you that much about them. But yeah, so that's that. Moving on, we've got Overland Airways. Now, Overland Airways have placed um, an order for six units of the Embraer E-175. Now, Overland Airways is a Nigerian um, carrier, and here's Geography Genius 267 to tell you more about Nigeria. Yes, so um, Nigeria is also in Africa. It's in the... Um, west and um, quite close to Senegal actually and so Nigeria's population is around 200 million the most populated um, country in Africa and one of the most populated in the world and it has one of the most the fastest growing populations in the world and they say that by um, 2050 um, the population will be 400 million which is twice what it is which is um, about twice what it is today and that is really interesting and so um, Nigeria's cities include Lagos which is um, 20 million people around and one of the largest in, I think the largest in Africa as well and it's capital Abuja and also another city with called Ibadan and that has around 1.8 million people and Nigeria also have a very um, successful film industry known as Nollywood so yeah that's Nigeria. That's very interesting facts there. So you heard that right, guys. That's from Job Genius 267. Moving on, we have Emirates Sky Cargo, which is the cargo subsidiary of Emirates themselves. Pretty much the same livery as the Emirates aircraft, um, except that, you know, you don't have the, like, normal livery. You just have the Sky Cargo. But there. So... Um, Emirates Sky Cargo have opted for two units of the Boeing 777F um, from Boeing. Um, and obviously, Sand 777X, you know, he's a avid supporter of the 777X and just the 777 family in general. So, Santa, what's your favourite bit of the Boeing 777? Well, I mean, I, can't, I might have already said this, but it, it, although my name is Santa 777X, it's not really my favorite plane. My actual favorite plane is the is the um Airbus A3 A350. True. So we will be coming on to the Airbus A350 spoiler alert, 
um, very shortly. So be prepared for that. So Geography Jane is 267. Um, Emirates is based in the United Arab Emirates in Dubai, to be precise. What facts have you got for us for Dubai? Yes, yeah, so Dubai, and to be honest, I should be talking about the United Arab Emirates in general, but I'll start with Dubai. So Dubai is very lavish and it attracts loads, loads of tourists every year. And it's home of the um, world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, which I believe is around 800 meters tall. Not sure what that is in feet, sorry for all of our American watchers, but yeah. And so um, the United Arab Emirates in general is uh, very famous and very rich as well because they distribute um, a lot of the world's oil supply. And um, yes, it's located in the Middle East, which is in Southwest Asia. And um, yeah, so United Arab Emirates is a great place to go um, on a holiday or just on a small trip because it's great there. Okay, so um, as Santa Sarnex was um, talking about now, we um, he did say about his favorite plane, the Airbus A three fifty F. Now, um, the sorry, not the Airbus A three fifty F. Well, Santa's favorite plane is the Airbus A three fifty, but the A three fifty freighter was recently re released. So, um, Airlines Corporation have become the first um, lesser or airline to order it. So. They have ordered seven units of this from Airbus. So, Santo, uh, do you want to just give us a short description of the A350? Well, as you can see on the A350 in on the left, um, you can see that, well, the wingtip is slightly curved and it gives that aerodynamic look as well. Yeah, as the good. engines, they are massive, and I just like the body shape. It, it's very smooth, and it, it increases the aerodynamics, which make which might make it a fast plane. Right. And However, it, it it is not as fast as the Concorde. Geography genius, why don't you give a short description of the Concorde, which used to be the world's fastest plane? Commercial passenger plane. So just get our facts right there, but and, yeah. And I may and aviation eighteen. Sorry, geography genius. Um, geography genius, you six seven. You just want to give a quick overview of the Concorde. Oh yes, so um, the Concorde. I don't really know uh, many facts about the Concorde, but um, of course I do know it was one of um, it was quite a strangely shaped um aircraft. Um, it's very different to all the aircrafts today that you can see on the screen and just any aircraft in general. It had a very different shape. Um, it went for more of a sharp look rather than a curved look. That's true, yeah. And um, yeah, it used to be the fastest. So, but I don't know much about the Concorde. I'm not really the person to tell you about it. So, um, yeah. And also, I I might know some facts. I you might not know this, but it, um, a co the Concorde's top speed. I think it's around one thousand miles or kilometers per hour. I'm not sure, but all you need to know is it's very fast. And I think in the next video we might show you viewers a picture of the legendary Concorde, right? Aviation eighteen. Yeah, in fact, I might as well show you guys now. Um, it's a bit irrelevant to the Dubai Air Show, but here you go. Uh, sorry, that's our next slide. Um, oh, I keep on missing it. Um, right, let's get it. So, um, yeah, the so next promise. This is your concrete picture, and as you can see here, it does look like a shark. Um, as Geography Genius Two Six Seven will show you. So. Um, yeah, you've got the fins there. Um, you've also got, yeah, like a shark like uh, bit there. So, uh, this is like a modern kind of supersonic aircraft that's being promised. United have all of this, it's a boom supersonic, and yeah. Um, so moving on back on to the Dubai air show thing, uh, we have Silk Way. Uh, who now this isn't really an order for an aircraft, but it's engine replacements. Eight engines to be refitted on their Boeing 747-400s, and they signed this contract with Rolls-Royce to refit this. So moving on, 
we have Binta Canaria. Um, and so Binta Canaria have ordered four ATR 72600s from ATR. Um, so yeah, moving on. We have Tarom, um, who is the Romanian flag carrier, who have ordered three of the ATR's 72600s. So Drug Feed Genius 267, um, do you just want to give us uh, like a quick description of ATR? Uh, sorry, not ATR, Romania. Yes, so as I've annotated right there, it's very clear that this is a, a Romanian plane. You can see it says Romanian air transport, as well as the Romanian flag right there. So um, one thing is about Romania is that, first of all, it is in um, East Europe. Now, um, it's kind of in Central Europe because some of Russia is in Europe, some of it in Asia, but some people say the whole thing's in Asia. But OK, for the people who say the whole thing is in Asia, I'm going to call it um, East Europe, but of course it's just, um, you know, you know, opinions. Anyways, um, yeah, so Romania has a capital city of um, Bucharest, I believe. And so, sorry for the bad pronunciation. And um, it's about the same size as the United Kingdom by area. And population, I believe, is around 17 million people as of 2021. So that's Romania for you guys. That's really interesting. So moving on, we've got Wiz Air. Um, now Wiz Air have got, now this is really relevant, but um, Wiz Air have currently got 429 blocks on order. So um, this was increased obviously because of um, Indigo Partners' order. So they have got quite a few there as Joffrey explained has just shown us they are Hungarian. So uh, they are gonna benefit. They are trying to reduce their emissions and stuff. So they're trying to go environmental friendly. Now, next up, we have got Indonesian Ministry of Defense. Um, they have ordered two Airbus A A400Ms from Airbus. Now, you may recognize that Airbus A400M from Tom Cruise's film where he was hanging off um, around here and it was quite a brilliant stunt. Um, yeah, Sanctuary Sonic has just shown us there are one of the propellers, um, but yeah, um, we've also um, got a beautiful Indonesian background, I have to say. Um, moving on, we've got iBomb Air. Now, iBomb Air are Nigerian, but um before that drug feeding is 267 do you want to give um you know tell our viewers really about indonesia yes so as you can see the background of this picture um it, they look like um high mountains some volcanoes i believe and so yeah that really reflects how how many volcanoes indonesia really has and because it's uh, at a place where there's a lot of tectonic play activity it's regularly hit by tsunamis, earthquakes, volcanic er and volcanic eruptions. And so um, I believe these planes have been uh, flying around Indonesia for a long time. And I'll just annotate here. Oh, OK, I'm having trouble annotating. But um, on the back of the plane, you can see there's the Indonesian flag right there. And so, um, yeah, that's the Indonesian flag over there. And Indonesia consists of, I believe, over 3,000 islands. Some are inhabited and some, are, some aren't. Yes, Aviation Digital 1 has been using the laser pointer to point out the Indonesian flag. And um, so it is the fourth most populous country in the world at around 230 million people. So, yeah. Okay, so we've also got Ibom Air who have ordered 10 of the Airbus A220s from Airbus. Now, they are Nigerian as well. Now, we won't be having Geoffrey Genius tell us about Nigeria because he did do that earlier for Overland Airways. But, you know, we are now going to move on to Jazeera. Now, Jazeera Airways have signed a mem memorandum of understanding for 28 of the Airbus A320 Neos and the Airbus A321 Neos. Now, uh, Jazeera is a Saudi Arabian low-cost carrier. Do you want to give a quick overview? Uh, yes, so um, Saudi Arabia, I don't think this is really Saudi Arabian because I think I see uh, right there, 
um, near the nose of the plane, there's a, I think that's the Jordan flag, but I may be mistaken. And so uh, I'll talk about Saudi Arabia anyway. So it is one of the largest countries in the world, the largest country in the Middle East, definitely. And um, it has capital city of Riyadh, which has around 5 million people as of 2021. And so they speak Arabic there, as you can see um, on the back of the plane, there's some Arabic writing there. I can't read Arabic myself, so I can't translate that for you, but I know some of you might be able to. And so um, basically Saudi Arabia is um, a very religious place and it's great to go there if you're interested in visiting deserts and because the Rab al Kali desert is not the largest, not the hottest, but it's still considered the most ruthless desert in the world because um, its wildlife cannot survive there. But the Rab al Kali is a good tourist destination, nevertheless. So that's Saudi Arabia. That's nice. So uh, moving on, we've got um, Indian startup low cost carrier. Arkasa Air. Now, we can't exactly get a photo of this. So, they have ordered 72 of the Boeing 737 Maxes. And I'm pretty sure without this order, Boeing would be left going home um, back to America after this air show with practically nothing. So, this order practic practically saved, um, you know, Boeing. Um, but yeah, Arkansas Air are an Indian startup, and here's what we explained to give you a short overview of India. So India is the second largest country in the world by population, as I'm sure loads of you know. It's only one of two countries to cost one billion people, closely behind China. So, um, yeah, sorry for the delay, but we had your Indians talking about India, so here we go back again. Yes, yeah, so as I was talking about, um, India is closely going to surpass China as the most populated country in the world. And so India is also very religious. And did you know that it has more vegetarians than the rest of the world combined? It's quite an interesting fact because part of their religion is not to eat meat. So, yeah, it's quite interesting. And um, India is also, as well as being um, very populated, um one of the largest countries in the world i think it's the seventh largest and so um yeah and also india's capital city is new delhi and some other cities include mumbai kolkata hyderabad um bangalore or bengaluru and chennai and so that's india for you guys moving on we have air tanzania and rightly so it's the wings of kilimanjaro now uh, we will have job fee explained to talk about that but air tanzania has ordered four of um combined of the 737 max 767 freighter and uh the 787 from boeing so geography genius 267 uh would you just like to talk about tanzania yeah so tanzania or tanzania however you pronounce it um is a country in south east africa and so um, basically Tanzania, as you can see in this picture, um, has the famous Kilimanjaro volcano. And Kilimanjaro is a um, dormant volcano, so that means it hasn't erupted for a long time, but it is liable to erupt soon. And so Kilimanjaro um, is just on the border of Tanzania, and I forget which other country it is. And so um, Tanzania is home to the Serengeti National Park which is extremely natural and a great tourist destination because it's famous for wildebeest. And there are millions and millions and millions of wildebeest um, just around um, Tanzania. And so Tanzania is a um, great country to go to for if you're a wildlife geek and um, yeah. So now we shall move on to Afrijet now. Um, you know, but you haven't got many details of Afrijet, but they have got interest for three ATR 72s short takeoff and landing from ATR. Now, uh, we can't really give you much more than that, there isn't much on there, so we will move on to Tokyo. Now, Tokyo is going to be based out of Japan, they have also expressed interest for two ATR 72 short takeoff and landing from ATR. Now, Dr. Genius 267, what can you tell us about Japan? So Japan is a country in East Asia. It's actually an archipelago, which is a group of islands. 
And Japan is very, very rich. If you've seen the, the latest job we explained YouTube short, you know that um, Japan is um, the third largest country in the world by GDP, which is basically wealth. And so the reason they are very um, wealthy is because um, they are one of the um, leading countries, I think the leading country, which is working towards um, AI and automating our lives with robots. And it's been all over the news that Japan have been um, inventing new robots and some are being sold out right now. And so Japan is um, a country with the capital city of Tokyo. And Tokyo is the largest city in the world, not by population, just by a um, metropolitan area. <clears throat> Sorry about that, okay? Um, metropolitan area. And so Japan is because mainly because of Tokyo, which has around 40 million people, um, is one of the largest countries in the world by population, which is and it's around 120. Okay, so uh, yes, yeah, so unfortunately, Geography D Institute 6 and was cut off there. But moving on, we have DHL Express, who have expressed interest for nine units of the 767300 BCF converted freighters from Boeing. Um, moving on, we've also got um, the UAE Air Force, uh, who have ordered two Airbus A330 MRTTs from Airbus. This is the Royal Air Force Airbus A330 MRTT. Now, we won't be having a description about the UAE because Geography Genius has already done slightly similar thing for Emirates. Now, moving on, we've also got Ice Lease, who are a lesser, who have ordered 11 units of the 737-800 BCF from Boeing. And finally, we've got Sky One FZE, who have ordered three 777-300s from Boeing. So just a quick shout out to Santa777X, who has helped us create this video. So thank you to him. Uh, please do check out the Outer Space and Earth podcast. Santa, do you want to just give a quick overview of your podcast? Yes, and um, my podcast is running low in episodes, but I'll I'll get it back up and running shortly. And here, just as the name suggests, um, it, it's about the outer space and the Earth. And who knows, in the future, I might even change that name, but it's a surprise for now. Oh, so we also got Geography Explained podcast and YouTube channel, so please do check that out, guys. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. So overall, in the overall recap, Airbus have clearly been the winners here. Boeing have got you know some orders, but you know they've come home clearly as the losers of the air show, really. So thank you all for uh, uh, listening or viewing or however you're um, uh, you know watching this video. So here you can sub to Simple Aviation and over here you can have our YouTube show on the Dubai Air Show. Don't forget to subscribe. Until then, it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from Santa Triple Zone X. Goodbye, everyone. And it's also goodbye from Job Free Games U67. Yes, goodbye, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this um, video and do stay tuned for other videos as well. Bye. And you can find this video in our documentaries playlist. So until then, it's goodbye. Thank you for watching.